instead of leaving it as is. So in this example, though, the main important thing is we want to, again, rewrite everything in terms of squared. So I'm going to rewrite this as 3 squared of 4 times 2 x squared squared times x minus 2 square root of 9 times 2 x squared times x. So I just did the exact same thing I did in the other problem, but I went a lot quicker and I didn't break it down. Does anybody have any questions on what I did? Does everybody agree that x squared to the squared times x is still x to the fifth? Yep. But the reason why I did that is because I can now take the square root of that squared. Right, Marina? Yes? So I can take the square root of 4, which is 2. Um, square root of x squared squared, that's going to go out. So therefore, that's going to leave me with an x squared. Um, then under the square root, I'll still have 2. I'm sorry? I know, yeah, I changed it. I changed it for that purpose. Um, so that's still going to leave me with a 2x. Minus 2, square root of 9 is 3. Square root of x squared is going to just leave me with an x. And then I'll have square root of 3x. I'm sorry, 2x. Simplify these. I get 6x squared, square root of 2x, minus 6x times the square root of 2x. Now, the main important thing that I want you guys to see is when you have terms, when you have the radicands the same, you can go ahead and combine them. Okay, You can basically go ahead and combine them. Um, so the main important thing is go ahead and I don't want to confuse you even more. I should have picked a different one. Um, but basically, it's these. Unfortunately, though, I chose a problem that you can't really combine. 6x squared minus 6x. And then that's going to be times the square root of 2x. But basically, all I want you guys to understand is these, this remains the same. Okay? In this case, we couldn't combine them um, for this. But let me give you just a quick little change of problems because